So we continue where we left off last time, where I showed you how to use some of the brushes within ZBrush that we could use to to enhance our uh, sculpting process. And I showed you how to use some of the brushes, uh, including the standard brush, how to smooth some things out, and uh, I was mainly using the the slash and the uh, the slash brush basically for the some of the detail for the head area so in this video we're going to pretty much do ex almost exactly the same uh, I, I think I showed you last time how to use the uh, slash the combination of the, the standard and the, also the blob to uh, brush within ZBrush to get some of the detail for, for the head area so what I'm doing right now is just continuing that where part where we left off, just enhancing some of the some of the area here. Right now, using the standard brush. just enhancing some of the areas pulling out some areas to to have more detail right now I'm just using the standard brush and that's basically what I'm going to use throughout the, the sculpting process just using the standard with the combination of the slash 3 brush and then sometimes I'll just use the blob as well So if we use the slash 3 and we change the intensity as well as the, as the size so that we can start to create some of that detail, some of the skin for the dinosaur. So that's actually what I'm going to continue to do so I'm just going to show you this as a time lapse and I'm going to stop and uh say a few words when I get to an area where I where I think that that is uh would be more interesting for you to see how I go about creating So right now I'm using the standard brush to get some of pulling out some of the shape here for the neck area. 
again just using the standard brush and uh, just creating some of that some of that uh, skin looking for the neck getting that look And I'll continue to do that for the rest of the neck here. I'm also going to do that for the for the belly of the dinosaur as well. And then after that, we use the slash three brush to enhance that that area that we just created using the standard brush, so that we can create more more of that uh, skin look. I'm going to use the standard brush, probably get some of the some of the folds, some of the folds that you see, some folding area here for the skin. I'm going to use the standard brush to create more of uh, more more of the skin area here. And I'll keep looking at the pictures to make sure. Of course, you don't have to. Uh, be so precise but uh, just get it to look uh, somewhat close to the picture so I'm just using the standard brush and I'm just pulling out and also pushing in some of the areas as well like right now just pushing in So now we start we go back to using the slash three for for more of the skin uh wrinkles there for the for the for the dinosaur. Again you can use the slash three brush or there's also the dam standard that you can use to get pretty much almost the same effect. Or also I mean you could use alphas if you wanted to as the same way we did uh, in previous videos. But I just want to do it without much help of an alpha pretty much doing the sculpting by hand rather than using an alpha so just continue using that slash 3 brush to to enhance more of that detail in different areas different strokes uh, going in different directions
now I'm going back to the standard brush just to uh, add a few enhancements here and there for the some wrinkles folding some folds some areas and I'm looking at different reference pictures that I have again those pictures are available in my website Again, just using the standard brush in some areas to enhance some of the details. And of course, we continue to use the the slash three. I'm, I'm using that brush a lot. Uh, you probably noticed. Uh, of course, you can use different brushes. You can uh, just uh, look at the different brushes available and see which ones you like. So in the next video I'm probably going to show you how to actually start to color the dinosaur once we're actually done with the sculpting I'm probably well just going to continue doing this exact same thing using the same brushes for the sculpting so in the next video we're probably going to start I'll show you how to set up everything so that we can start to add some color to the actual mesh okay